Let's go. Hi, so we're on our way to Locals now. It's about 9 a.m. I'm just gonna catch the bus, but welcome. This is the first of my vlogs um, and it's gonna be really cool. It's the pre-release for Ignition Assault today and I gotta run for the bus. So we're here at Strictly's and we're just waiting to open our packs. We're just gonna wait on Dylan and then we'll do it. It'll be cool. So we just signed up, um, everyone's signing up now, and it's going to be like a little while until we get the tournament started, but really excited to play. Alright, so round one starts, um, I'm playing against my friend Jacob, it's pretty dope. Um, not really fortunate because one of us is going to have to lose, but regardless, I go first, um, I win the die roll, um, I set up a pretty standard board with All Mirage Faker in hand, two Imperms, and I think a spoofing, um, and the All Mirage is really important here, uh, it's going to help me later in the match when... Um, he has a Dolka on the field. It's going to protect my Silk, which is really cool. But it's also there because I wanted to, uh, something to protect the tokens um, from Lost World if he ends up having it. Um, but he has like Misk and stuff. It's no big deal. I anticipated that. Um, and we kind of get to this weird game state where um, I use All Mirage to basically make it so that I can add the Silk or the, add the Faker back to hand and not take any damage, which I think was the correct play. Um, Continues on, um, I use the second Imperm on my turn to make it so that um, I can resolve Faker and get rid of the Dolka. And as well, it actually turned off the trap that, or whatever he set in the Imperm zone, which was really cool. So I break his board, game continues. It's a really long one, it's almost 26 minutes, um, but I end up uh, clutching it out. Um, because of a really cool play here where I use Kunkuri to turn off the Lost World and bounce the Aeolo back to hand so the token can't be destroyed by battle, which is really, really useful. And it ends up being what won me the game because he couldn't get further past my board. I think he ended up having like two UCTs or something, but I was able to just keep doing Altergeist things. Game two, we play it fast, um, and I just have like outs to his stuff. I ended up Nibiruing him. He still had UCT on the board by the end of it. Um, 
UCT Giant Rex token. Um, so I ended up attacking with the Nibiru and I had evenly in hand so that I could get rid of it and evenly him. Um, and it worked out. He ended up not chaining UCT, which was, I think, a misplay, um, but it was all good. Um, so from there, we were just able to collect tempo with our trap cards and our engine because we had Melu on the field. And it was just, it was good. We did it. Stay tuned. Next round. All right. So round two starts. Uh, we end up winning the die roll once again, which was really lucky. And we ended up winning most of the die rolls that day. Uh, which was super dope but we end up with a pretty normal altergeist board save for like the imp order but it's not going to be a big deal because i kind of know that he's playing trap tricks which is why i summon the faker here it's really important against trap tricks to stop their normal summon especially if it's something like atrax or dianea which can't actually resolve on the first turn which cuts off his way to sarah and make sure that they don't get their monsters in grave so that he could like double or nothing me so we continue he summons smirmelio and i just end up striking it right away i have the ash in hand i don't want him to get more advantage and get to sarah so i end up just striking because it's just enough to keep me going and make sure that he is cut off from his plays and we just kind of keep bouncing his traps in end phase and gain tempo, gain advantage, gain alter guys things, and he scoops it out. Game two, we end up with a really strange board where we have like three marionetters on field. And honestly, it was kind of dope seeing my boys hang out. But we make Hextia just because we want to have the disruption. He can't compulse me here. I know he has a compulse because he set it off of uh, Trap Trick, but he can't compulse me because I'm just going to use the Hextia effect to negate it. I think it might have still been the correct play because I'm going to link the Hexias off here and just search the Manifestation, which is going to, one, get me back my resources, and two, I think, get me to more combos in my turn. And I end up kind of just continuing my match until I trigger his Waking the Dragon, which I don't have an out in the entire deck for... Um, this really cool card called Ultimate Falcon. So I just scoop it up um, and go game three. Game three is just kind of a repeat of game one where I just end up beating him down and uh, gaining slow advantage and doing Altergeist things. Stay tuned for round three. Round three comes along. It's a really long one because we're playing against James. He's playing Infernoid, and this is always a long matchup depending on how it goes. I think he made a few misplays this game, mainly because he didn't know what most of my cards did. He doesn't really know what Altergeist does, and I end up just gaining a lot of slow advantage from that um, and shutting down his graveyard because he just doesn't have enough resources because I keep using protocol every turn to just turn off his, um, like, Anunku or the big guys. I don't know what they're called. Here he, like, goes for Christia, which I think was probably the biggest mistake of the game uh, because I just need to draw, like, Faker or Melis or not Faker, um, Imperm or Meliseek, and that'll just, like, rid his board. But he attacks a Linkrubo, I just don't take damage, but on a couple turns later I Imperm hit and Resolve Faker in hand, which is going to get me to Meliseek and allow me to attack directly and get rid of the Christia, which is again going to sort of set him back even further with the tempo. It's kind of a long match from here, but he ends up making a few more misplays, again, because he doesn't really know my deck, but it's no biggie. We take the dub and we go on to round four. Oh boy. <laughs> so round four is where we get bodied. We're playing against Todd, who is playing Heroes, and this one is a weird matchup. I think it's a good matchup for me. I just need to see, like, a hand trap, Nibiru, anything. Game one, I just set up Marionetter plus Way to Faker and five traps, and he just cannot out that, so he just scoops, and we go to game two. Super fun match, by the way, because he just does the same thing. He just makes an unbreakable board where he has, like, Dark Claw, he has the Mass Change set, he has Absolute Zero. No matter what I do, he's going to just just destroy me so we go to game three and game three is where it kind of sucks because i set up like a okay board like i get to i have oh, i open the malaseek again we get to faker and he resolves e with against my three traps and uh, link rebo and so on resolution this is my mistake i use spoofing to put back a silk i didn't want it in my hand anymore um and i didn't think that i was gonna um resolve spoofing much later so i let that through he twin twisters my other two back row which is where i realize i've made my mistake because now i'm just 
gonna be dead in the water he plays around my uh silk really really well because he has the increase in the spell and trap zone so no matter what i do at this point he just kind of wins and he just makes plasma which turns off my silk and he's gonna get to bane because he has the adusted golden hand i tell you this man opened the stones and that's just the fourth round uh can't really do much at that point and so i scoop it up and take the loss. So, final round. Uh, we ended up with um, 3-0-1. Um, we drew at the last round. Uh, it ended up being he was comboing, I had Solemn Judgment, and he had Reboot, so he rebooted, and then I judgmented the reboot, um, and he couldn't get the battle phase in time. Um, so we ended up tying, and I totally forgot to mention who I was playing. I was playing Brad, he's playing Danger Dark World, really scary matchup. I was very afraid in my game too um because he just kept playing like literally with brow you just kept, keep drawing and it's fucking insane but anyways we're going hopefully to top cut um we're gonna see how it goes Hi guys, so there's one winner and one loser in this video right now, um, and I think, I think I won, so I'm top four now, <laughs> and we're gonna see how it goes. So it's real late now, um, we're heading back, we're gonna grab some McDonald's, um, I ended up coming, I, I, I split for third um, with Todd, I ended up losing to Brad because I'm a poopy head, it's okay. really dumb. It's okay, but he'll learn from it, he'll learn from it. It's all good. It's all good. Angus is cute. Angus is cute. Yes. Guys. He couldn't miss the sneak peek of the century. Oh my god, he's really got it. You gonna need some deck profiles of the winners? Oh my god, look, it's Dylan Fricker. Legendary top 60. Oh. oh. With a sneak peek pack opening. Deal, what do you want me to look for? Uh, I need to find one more who's called Wicked Secret. Oh no, why did you do that? She's good. It's damaged now. I have to offer you less. Yeah. We ended up succumbing to oh, feed. Could you? Feed. So I should uh, move two calls and yes. <laughs> Holy shit! We've got the sheep, dude. We've got the sheep. Thank God. That's so yeah. Good. Yeah, we needed the sheep. Fifty dollars later. We needed the fifty dollars later. We have a sheep. <laughs> What is the- Are you- are you good? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. I've, listen, dude, I don't have a lot of experience opening these. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. no. Wait, do you actually get ever get anything? One of the ships. Oh, wow, my attic- for my attic mister deck, dude! Woo! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> My master plan, I'm gonna buy out all of these in locals, and then I'll never have to deal with them again. <laughs> What's your value on these five prints? <laughs> yeah, I'd value that, like, Get a salad. No, do not get a salad. Junior chicken or nothing, my friend. Bro, those are too spicy, nope. man. Those are too spicy. Uh, 